Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today is part three and the final part of my VBA Editor Themes series, where we're making a little theme editor for the VBA Editor. So you can have a dark mode, a light mode, a teaching mode, a grandpa mode, whatever you want, any kind of mode. And of course, if you haven't watched parts one and two yet, go watch those first. You'll find links down below. All right, let's get back to it. All right, so we made our button to read the settings from the registry. Now let's make another button to put them back to the registry. So design view, I'm just going to copy this button here. Copy, paste, slide it over here. Come on, there you go. Get right, on. there you go. Okay, good boy. All right, we're going to do put settings to registry. All right, and what do we call this button? This is the get settings button. We'll call this one the put settings. Put settings button all right very similar logic a little bit differently right click build event all right same thing we're going to first check to make sure that we have a valid id i'm also going to check to make sure there's a value in the other fields too make sure none of those are missing all right so let's copy and paste 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 let's do this a couple times whoops paste all right, and we're just going to check the other values too. So code back colors, invalid code back. And you can put friendly th messages in here if you want to. I just want to make sure that there wasn't a problem before and that there's a blank value in one of these and that uh, we're going to put garbage to the registry because that would be awful. We don't want garbage in the registry. <laughs> okay, so there, we've checked all five things that we have to write back. Now, just like this one was read key, we're going to use the save key. So we're going to just copy this whole thing here and paste it, all right? And this is going to be, instead of setting something equal to, it's gonna be save key, okay? And this is not a function anymore, it's a statement. So we're gonna hit the space there instead. All right, that's the registry key. The value is code back colors. Now there's a third thing here that says reg sz. What is that? Let's take a, let's take a peek at this real quick. Right click definition, okay. In here, I put the different types. Reg SZ is basically a string. It's the default value. All right, most things in the registry are strings. Then there's this thing called a D word. It's basically a 32-bit number. It's roughly equivalent to a long integer in, uh, in Access. Okay, so for numbers, you're going to use a D word. For string values, you're going to use SZ. These two things, don't worry about them. Don't mess with them. Don't touch them. Don't play with them. They're a lot more advanced. And maybe one of these days, I'll do a class on them, but... For now, all you got to worry about is these two things. So the only thing we have to do is if we're using a number, like our font size, our font height, we have to specify reg D word. Okay, and we just send that as a string. All right, let's go back. Okay, so here's that. We got the code back colors. We're going to copy this three more times, paste it three more times, right? Paste, paste, paste. Okay, grab these. Code four colors goes into this one. Font face goes into this one. And then font height is getting font height. And here we have to go comma reg underscore D word. And you can copy that right out of the, the thing if you want to. Okay. Now at this point, the registry has been updated, but access reads these settings in when access loads. So you're not going to see a change until you restart access. So we're going to just tell the user message box, uh, settings updated, please restart access. All right. Yeah, there's code. We could do that, but no, <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not going to just restart it. That's a whole different class. <laughs> All right. Debug compile, close it, close it, save it, open it. All right. What are we in right now? We're in light mode. All right. The one we just set last. I'm going to click on dark mode and put settings to registry, click. All right, settings updated, please restart access. Notice now you don't see a change. All right, we have to actually restart access. So let's close that down and let's restart the database. And here we go, and ready, click. Ooh, ah, let's go back. Where's my form? Could be a theme F, go to light mode, put settings to registry, Hit OK, restart access. One more time. 
Yeah, my system slowed today. I don't know why. And peak. And ooh, look at that. Isn't that cute? We had our own little theme editor. Are there other settings you can change? Yeah, these are the big ones, though. These are the big four. I wouldn't mess with anything else. Just, just stick with these. And I did this for you guys, so I can leave it like this in videos, and I can switch back to black for myself. Well, okay, so it's, it's kind of selfish. It's for me, too. <laughs> so there you go. There's your VBA theme editor. Pretty cool, huh? If you like this stuff, if you like learning with me, if you like my style, you like learning how to do cool things in Access VBA, well, I got tons of developer lessons available on my website. Sign up today. You can become a Learning Connection member, and you get a discount. Um, if you're a platinum member, you can get a free developer class once a month after you've finished all the beginner and expert lessons. So there's lots and lots of stuff that I cover from beginner to advanced. So everything that I know, well, pretty much everything that I know is in, is in these lessons. I've baked me in there. It's like that spaghetti sauce, right? It's in there. <laughs> but that's it. That's all for your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. I hope this series was helpful to someone out there. Post me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't wanna to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my access forum. 
We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.